It's Palea, and we're going to do a couple of house tours that I thought were fabulous. The first one is Spooky Mansion by Theoden. I'm pretty sure he put a couple of these pine trees out here, out in the front by himself. A lot of people are doing special glitches. Uh, I only know the Z glitch, but I know that there's a free motion glitch that some of them are doing. This first one is a nice little cart, uh, a hayride cart. Flowers, pumpkins. <laughs> he used a bunch of industrial shelves upside down to create the cart outline. And some wooden pegs. Very, very, very nice. But that's not what I really wanted to show you. What I really wanted to show you was the house itself. But before we go to the house, we go to the graveyard. I love this. He took the, the wood slats that go across the floor and he used them as little tombstones upended into the ground as well as some walking pathway stones, some leaves, and some amberborn bits and pieces. All right, let's get to the house, the spooky mansion. Here we go. Just about to enter the house. We got some slats on the windows, make it look like a, a haunted house, a haunted mansion. It's nice and black. We enter the foyer, a humongous house. This is one of those double height mansions. We got a little foyer with floating books in the air, if you can see that. Let's swing around a little bit for the floating books. And you just uh, floating little table over here. Wonderful, wonderful. Beautiful libraries. Nice, nice items on the library shelves. Pumpkins. Um, again, they use, I'm pretty sure it's amberborn chests for the bottom of the library walls. And uh, they're using the free motion glitch or something, something to meld things together. Got a, um, a garden plant there and, and the and the pretty book. Very nice. You can if you if you look, you can see the industrial shelves that they used. And they used wooden pegs and the sides of uh, the, the regular room walls. This is a special room. We're going to go in here. Look at your curtains. Then this is the special dining room, spooky dining room. It's got everything is upside down. Uh, you get your fake fireplace, some awards on the wall, uh, Ravenwood furniture seated around the fireplace, dining table, upside down food and candles, chandelier, everything. It's uh, pretty fabulous. Must have taken hours and hours of hours of work, I would imagine. Okay. Let's go back out here. We'll take a quick trip. Nice, nice fireplace, by the way. You took a fireplace and surrounded it in stone and hung some pictures and stuff up on the walls. Very nice. Spooky candles going up the spiral staircase. And what do we see up here? <laughs> some, <laughs> some ghosty smoke and uh, ghosty candles, dark wallpaper. You get your obligatory seance kind of star on the wall, uh, floor, or whatever. I love these little uh, melty candles. A ghosty dinner. <laughs> All right. Yeah, they took um, some metal posts and put it up on the ceilings so that the chandeliers could hang down lower. Uh, that smoke is coming from uh, windmills, by the way, outside. So let's hop down. Surround here of the the Ravenwood furniture sit at the fireplace now. Let's go through this um, secret bookcase wall And we'll go down the hallway a stone hallway Which they created on the side of the house. They just created uh, with some Flooring and some carpeting and the stone ceiling and stone walls <laughs> Industrial shelves for the stairway and some um, torches on the walls. We'll go up the stairs and down another hallway and down into uh, what I think is supposed to be the pit of hell. Get all these torches and stuff like that to uh, represent fire and flames. And that is so imaginative. And then you go out that back, back of the hallway and it says boo on the wall. So nice. And a little metal, metal spider. Let's go run to the back of this, the side of the house. And here you can see one of the windmills creating the smoke inside the upstairs hallway there. Over here at the end, 
we have a little corn uh, field with a little bit of a pumpkin picnic in the middle. Lovely cornfield for real plants. And a, um, a slanted little shed with a door. A little jealous of the door and, this, and the tools. I don't know where they got them, but that's pretty cool. Maybe they're makeshift tools. Maybe you keep, keep fishing and you'll get that. Maybe you'll get the door too. And that is the spooky house. That was fabulous. The next one I want to show you is Night Market by Brigitta. This is on one of the newer properties, the High Cliffs. She's taking at least a house with a bunch of rooms and she's built onto it. And it's just so lovely. Look at this tower. She's used all kinds of melding glitches to put things together with. That brown thing is an upside down tub. And she's got some fountains and some stones. And you can see these, I don't know what they call those, garden arches along with iron walls and floors and she made this humongous tower that's just a lot of work and that's really nice and over here look at the the ups <laughs> a sideways curtain up there on a post to make like a kind of flag let's go in here this is an aquarium a market aquarium and it's just you know you can come in here and buy fish right <laughs> and fresh fish <laughs> for dinner it eels and beautiful fish, chests. I suppose it'd be chests of fish or chests of ice or something. And she's got a frozen thing here with a swordfish on it on top of snow, keeping it cold. Look at that, she's just built all of that. It's just nice. And that is inside, oh gosh, what building is this? It, this might be the inside of a regular house building, possibly, not sure. Let's go around here. I guess I'll just start down here. Let's get some flow trees and stuff surrounding the edge of it. She's built this with wooden walls. She's built this little storefront, a house front, storefront, whatever it is. She's taken all these chests and uh, arches and putting just everything together. She's made a little stairway thing going up here. A nice little uh, front roof where it could be like a room up there. And then you come around the edge and it's a little fountain, wall fountain. So pretty. Uh, you can see she's taken the pergola and she's melded that in there. You have a little bar. You can order food. <laughs> We've even got a little server. <laughs> she's taken a chandelier, putting it in there. She's got a roof, a little design on top, a dragon on the top of everything, some gold blocks up there, a little corner here. She's got these iron blocks that she's melded all together and she's got a little cart and a mirror and some um amber born topping over the garden arch some little chests out front some colored barrels some piping uh i want you to take a look at the ceiling and it's just like if you were in a in, a, in some sort of arabian market or something first of all she's got this this sort of curved it's a fish tank but i think does she have a lantern in there too and look at the the top and the front she's got this um i'm pretty sure that those are wooden pathway panels that she's used to create a dragon head with encircled with framework of candles that's just so amazing but look, the ceiling is just full of colored chandeliers, log cabin chandeliers. And she's got a real wall over here. And she's put some wallpaper on it and a couple of panels and uh, capital chick designs. I guess this is a little gaming area. Banners on the walls and an emberborn planter area. Oh, where are those little baby trees? Oh, those are little baby trees, sorry. A little window. Oh, let's go inside. This, this is a... A flower shop now this would be the actual entrance of the main house but uh, she's cut it all off with iron walls and she's made it into a flower shop as part of this night market and you come in here and buy flowers it's just so wonderful and so pretty she's colored the wagon wheel and look at the ceiling she's got all these flowers upside down stuck to the ceiling which would be like floor panels or something turned upside down this is a little investigative desk thingy, and she's melded it into one of the bars. Nice things on the walls, a green fan. It's a blue fan, but she colored it green. A nice cart of little cotton flowers, a tree in a basket. 
and a little area to sit around to have a garden tea. She's mixed all these flowers together with the basket of flowers. Just look at it from this angle. It's so pretty. And down here, there's a little area for an artist painting gallery showing off the paintings that she's done. She's mixed a one of those desks you color furniture with into a chest. She's melded it together to make it look. And then she's added colored bottles of paint on top of a, um, a butcher block kind of thing, like a, a cutting block. She's made a little easel here. And this is the stuffed animal shop where you can buy all these stuffed animals and little blankets and stuff like that for they go with them too. Isn't that beautiful? So much work. This is a tent, by the way. She's added a tent down this way. So this whole animal shop is inside a tent and somehow she's blended the back of the tent with a real wall of a house, of the house, so she could put uh, wallpaper on it. So you can see the, the ceiling of the tent there, but it blends into the house in the back. The register area, little servants back there, mushroom servers. <laughs> so cute. And that's the night market. Gorgeous. Now our third and last mini tour is The Way of the Witch by Tartarus. And this is absolutely gorgeous. If one can top another, I don't know, that night market really blew my socks off. This is right where you land in this. So she has built outside of the mark of the uh, border of our property. And she's got a little table here of books and candles and flowers, floating books, a little chair to read, mixed matched carpets on the flooring and floating candles little entrance is so pretty let's get beyond this and go over to this is the bin covering <laughs> she's she's made this little building to cover the bin she got some wooden slats here in a chest on this side and she's got wooden blocks and pipes that she's colored purple flowers on the top an edging a wheel a little fake kind of walls with posts and, and a lantern and slats, wooden slats that she's twisted around. A little shelf in there of, of flowers and potions. And she's got some books on the floor and some more potions, flowers everywhere. Let me see now, if I, if I, can I jump up here? Yeah, you can see the ceiling. She's got wooden slats on wooden panels and flowers and a little chopper in there. I see the little chop on the left. <laughs> That's how she's covering her, her bin. It's just adorable. So much work. Beautiful pumpkins and lanterns. I guess we'll just go straight because it's not about a big building. It's about all the little buildings that she's done. And this is the center. It's got wooden slats and purple deer and uh, wheels sunk down into the ground. She's got little uh, stone blocks surrounding the area and stone floors built up. And then, you, then she set this um, garden arch on top of that. And then that leads into the pergola. And you go inside and there's a carpet on the floor. It's a bit hard to see in here. If you come around here, you can see a little bit in there. Oops, I'm a little stuck. A stone shelf all the way around with little food bits, a heater, pots and pans, a little seating area down there. Just a little secret area, and look, look at all, look at on the top. She's got pine cones and a chair, and more flowers, and a carpet up there. Let's leave this and go around this edge of it. You can see some more of the stone wall here and posts. A little carpet. I see a an aquarium or something in there, all covered in little flowers. A lantern. On the back of it has this bit of a tower thing up there with a flow tree on top. A nice banner on the back of the tower. Well, I guess that would be the witch's tower. Clothing line here. Some a pine tree with this beautiful little garden underneath it. Let's see what she's done with her uh, wishing well. <laughs> she's got a real wishing well going on here. With little flowers and a lantern and a jug. Here's another little hut over here. We've got an outhouse with a screen around the back. A lantern, a little table and some books and some flowers stone walkway, more flow tree, and this side of the outhouse has flowers and pots and a little bin there, a little bucket. 
Oh, isn't that? That's a nice sighting right there like that. That's so pretty. And then we've got this little shed here, this little um, makeshift shed. Oh, like a pumpkin patch, right? Jack-o'-lanterns floating in the air. How do they do that? It's just lovely. I know that they can put stuff on a shelf and twist the shelf. How did they disappear the shelf? Fascinating. Let's go around the back so I can see how she's made it. It's pretty thin. It's um, just some wooden panels on the back, slanted panels to the roof, and a block. And she's got all these little things stuck to the back, some flowers and tilted shelving, a little chest thingy there, candles, all kinds of things just stuck to it. A teeny bit of fencing around the side to make it come out a bit, and some more wooden posts in the front and on the, on the edge. And that's so pretty. And she used these nice purple flowers to surround the bottom of the flow trees. And let's come out here and look at it like that. What's in the windmill? She's got a little chest in there, some fencing and some flowers. She really decorated this, this windmill really nicely. I think that might be a, a makeshift chest, a wardrobe or something. I don't have that. Pumpkins and a hay stack. A little, nice little candle. Flowers. And that's the, win the what she's done to the windmill. The property ends just about here somewhere on the ground. And she's built this outside the property. Because I know that this is the way you get the water. She's got the wooden panels, and then she's got wooden slats on top of that. A little garden, wooden garden edging. Some stones. And she's got um, some things. Let me see. Now she's made another little mini shelf building. I'm pretty sure it's little blocks. Yeah, it's two or three little blocks in a row. And she's got the back of it with some posts and a makeshift um, thing on the wall shutter. I see some books in there. A lantern. A little bit of a, a, the slant roof there. The wagon wheel for the back. And on the ground she's got some slats and a chest. The magic chest of pearls. And her little dragony stuffling. So she used slats on top of the wooden blocks for a shelf. And she's got buckets and items dripping from the, the front of the roof. And on the shelf, she's got uh, potions and books. What else can I see in there? A little tea kettle, a candles, an award, log cabin decoration. And a couple of Christmas decorations here, too. The little wooden things and a couple of gold baubles. And <laughs> she's got her fish in the pond. That's so cute. I think that's pretty much it. Look at all the work. All the design, the thought, the work. I think we missed this one. Wine chests with some carpeting and some wood slats and some more carpeting and a, an umbrella. One of the dragon screens. Some flowers. Oh yeah, and this, then this leads us into the witch tower area here with the clothing and the blankets. I can't get over how some of these people have covered their bins though. So imaginative. Oh, it's just so beautiful. And I'm just so thankful to be able to have seen it. It's just gorgeous. The Way of the Witch. I wanted to do a really quick update on my property. Um, I added a little bit of flowers to the front Halloween decorations and a carpet. I moved all of this garden here, the uh, Phoenix garden, and I squished it together a little bit and I colored them. I had pumpkins around it, but I colored them orange last night to kind of match the Halloween theme. And I brought the, the swing out here and I got rid of the fencing and I put a screen behind this um, bonsai plant. And I put a dragon screen to the back of this pergola seating area. So I saved myself some space by getting rid of a lot of the fencing. And then I added some stuff by adding these flowers and a pot. So now I got this a fencing idea from someone else's tour house a, a week or two ago, where you just take the, um, the log cabin lanterns and you set them down in a row. And I colored them all green. This was green too, but I just wanted mine green because of the Halloween color, either orange or green. But this was an entrance to some walkway or something, and it was just a great idea because you just have one item instead of like four or five. So that was great savings of, of items. This is the way it looks from the back. It's so pretty. One of the new things I set down though was because I finished some of the bundles, I got uh, this, the Silverwing nest 
When I first got the silver wing nest, I put it way down the other end and I put it, I slid it off the property. Just like I'm doing here, you can see it goes off the edge of the property. Uh, but every time I came back to my game, the silver wing nest was sitting outside the property on the front yard. So I said, oh, they, they've done something. They've done something. Uh, you know how people have tried to fly over that wall down there at the end? And you can't fly over the wall anymore. Well, I think they've done something else to cut off being able to shove stuff outside that last, that, that side of the property. And it kept bouncing. Anyways, it kept bouncing back to my front yard. So I had to do something else with it. So I decided to try it on this end. And it's working. What else did I do? I added a little teeny walkway here. I don't know if that was here the other night. I added some pumpkins to this front yard. I added these, these uh, lanterns down this end also. Behind all the jam jars. And some screening behind the, the, the wooden stuff here and my chest. And I took away some of these worm farms. I just didn't need the last two worm farms. So I decorated, I took them, I put them away. And instead of ruining the boxes, I just put some decorations up there for now. I added some flowers and pumpkins underneath the windmill. Back here, what else did I get? I also finished some of the other bundles. So I won this, oops, I could do that. I, I won the, um, this little guy here. And every day he gives you a seed for a loot. What's today? It's a juniper seed. I've only gotten two seeds from him so far, so I, I haven't got any flow trees going yet. I hadn't really planned on putting the back walls to it. I just wanted the four posts and a ceiling. But it wouldn't really let me put the ceiling on it like I wanted. Uh, I got the square and then a diamond over that. That's what I wanted, but I it wouldn't sit on the posts. So I had to add uh, panels to the back and more posts to the sides and everything to finally, using the Z key, I was finally able, I had to climb up high and fiddle around with it and it finally set itself up there. And then I added a lamp to the top and some um, little designs to the, edge, the copper block that he's sitting on. Let me see now. Oh yeah, this invention was in the house, so I put that out here. It's an invention that uh, uses water to create electricity, and that's why you have uh, lanterns on the top. That could use two more lanterns too, really. And inside the house, what did I put in here? Oh, I added some decorations to the, to the bathroom. Not many, but I did. A mirror and some flowers and a little cup. And the, um, the fishy thing and a candle. And oh yeah, a little carpet. I wanted the towel that I wanted in here wouldn't go in here, so I've just put a, a wooden floor piece in there. And that's pretty nice. I don't know what happened to my original floor. It's supposed to be this tile floor or an emberborn floor. The thing about this game is sometimes the wallpaper and floors go missing. Does that happen to you? I don't know. So um, I have to replace it. Also, this is one of the jukeboxes. This is the rainy day. I think it's the rainy day jukebox. And I, uh, they let you color the jukeboxes. And I thought that looked pretty like copper, like he's working with copper. Yeah. And this stuff here is just sitting here because this is the next thing he's working on. Or, you know, if he gets to it. So. And that's all the changes that I have to the Halloween property yeah. for now. There you go. Thanks for watching. Have a happy Halloween.